Let's read a story for today about friends. May, after missing her friends for several days, decided to visit them after her vacation abroad. Her friend Louis lives five blocks west of their home, while Danica lives four blocks west of Louis' home. How far is May from her home if they are now at Danica's place? Let's analyze the given problem and let's check it and answer it through the number line. Now, here's the reference point. This is May's house here at zero. And when you say west, that represents negative or going to the left. That means and five blocks west is the house of Louis. So five units to the left, this is Louis' house. And from Louis' house, uh, May will go to Danica's house, which is four blocks to the west from Louis house. So here is the um, number line for Danica's house, four units to the left of Louis house. So from here, four units, one, two, three, four, and this is Danica's house. Now, if May will go to Louis house, so from zero up to five, going to the left, Okay, so five units, one, two, three, four, five. Then from Louis, from Louis' house, she will go to Danica's house, which is also four units to the left or west. Therefore, May is nine units west of her house or from her house. And that represents negative nine because when you say west, that is going to the left and that represents negative. So you may write May is 9 units west from her house or you can just write negative 9 for when you represent as negative uh, integers. Now, let's have another example. Anna sits on the second chair south of Joyce. Cherry sits on the fourth chair south of Anna. How far is Cherry from Joyce? So let's visualize it using the number line here. So this is the reference point, which is this is the jo Joy seat. Then Anna seat is two units south of Joy. So if this is Joyce, this is Anna seat because it's two units south of Joyce. And that's so when you say south, it's below the zero. That, that represents negative two. And then from Cherry seat, four units south of Anna. So if this is Anna, Cherry seat is four units south of Anna, so it's here. And the answer would be from zero to negative zero south from zero. And then that is six units south. So that's the distance from Joyce to Cherry. Or we represent that as negative six. Okay, now how do you add integers using a number line? When adding integers using a number line, locate the first addend in the number line. Then jump on the left if we add negative integer and jump to the right if we add positive integer. So let's have this example. Four plus three. So we locate the first addend, which is four. So this is our four. This is where our starting point. This is the four. Then uh, you add three, which is positive, therefore you are going to the right. If you're going to add positive number, you move or jump to the right. And then you move two, three times, one, two, three, then the answer is seven. So here is our number, here is our answer, seven. Now, we have here negative three, that's our first add or that's our starting point. So we have negative three, then we are going to add five, it's positive. So still, we are going to the right. You count five, uh, jump. One, two, three, four, five. Then our answer, negative three plus five is positive two. So again, if you're going to add positive, then you jump to the right. Okay, next, we have five here as our re reference point, or that is our uh, first add in, let's locate that in the number line, then we add negative 10. So when you say negative, you jump to the left 10 times. 
so we jump here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now our answer for five plus negative ten is negative five so that's how you add integers using a number line we have your negative six so this is our starting point or our First, add in, and that's where what where we locate this negative 6 in the number line. Then you add negative 2. Negative 2, you're going to jump to the left 2 times because it's, as you can see, it's negative. So we have 1, 2. Then our answer here is negative 8. We have negative 2. Then we add negative 8 so going to the left again so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here is the answer negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10. now let's have another example this time we answer this using a colored chips now a cyclist cycled eight kilometers north of manila so when you say north, going up, that's above zero in the number line, then it's positive. If he traveled, if he traveled back five kilometers, so when a cyclist go back five kilometers, so meaning going back to south, how far is he from Manila? So let's represent it using a colored chips. So how do we add integers using color chips because earlier we added using a number line this time using a color chips so yellow represents positive and red represents negative uh, numbers so if we have here one or positive one plus positive two that's how you write it and we have negative one plus negative one equals n and then we have here negative three plus negative two equals n so these are negative numbers and these are positive numbers and this represents as one okay so we have here uh, a cyclist cycled from um, zero to going to the north which is eight kilometers north so we represent that as eight pass eight, eight integers which is uh, positive one two three four five six seven eight and then go back, which is five kilometers south. So how far is the distance? That's the question. So meaning we are going to add eight kilometers, then five kilometers going to south. And that five represents red, and there are five chips here. So let's talk about first zero pair. A pair of positive and negative integer is called zero pair. A positive and a negative in integer cancel out each other. So if you can see here, so when you add integers uh, with a positive and negative numbers, and you can see here a, a positive, a pair of zero pair, there's one positive and one negative, you cancel that out because that represents zero. So uh, it doesn't have any value anymore. So one yellow and one red, it that means zero so as you can see here one plus negative one is zero that's a zero pair so when you add that we have here eight kilometers north five kilometers south so we remove all the zero pairs or uh trips that has pairs so we have here one two three four five then here one two three four five so we have five zero pairs. So the remaining chips here are three yellow or three positive. So if the question is um, eight kilometers north and he traveled back five kilometers, how far is he from Manila? Then you, again, you remove this, cancel this out. These are the zero pairs and cancel that out. The answer is three positive three so using a colored chips all you have to do is to cancel out any zero pairs and the chips that remains that is the answer let's have more example we have here we have four when we rep when we write that in in numbers we have four plus positive five 
we are not going to cancel out any zero pairs because there's no red here. We just have to add and count all of the yellow. That is 9. That's the answer. Next. We have here 1, 2, 3, 3 negative. That represents negative 3. Then we have 6, which is, we represent that number as negative, or we write it as negative 6. Then there is no zero pair. Since there's no yellow or positive number, then we just have to add all of it which is 6, 7, 8, 9, the answer is negative 9. Or when you draw it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then you, you shade that represents already negative um, chips or uh, negative numbers. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 positive. Next. We have here 3 plus 4, so the 3 negative, and then 4 negative. We are going to add 4 negative, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the answer is negative 7 negative chips, or 7 red chips is the answer. Next, we have here 5 plus 3, they are positive, then you answer Eight yellow chips, seven, eight. So eight yellow chips is the answer. Now, if how about if there's already a combination of negative and positive? So we have here, that's the time that we can now remove all the zero pairs because as you can see, we can remove that. It's a pair. We have one, two, three, four. So we can remove that. And the remaining number is only, or the remaining chips is only one red. Therefore, that is negative 1 because you cancel this out since it's 0 pair. So, it's like adding negative 5 plus positive 4. The answer is negative 1. Next, we have here another uh, 4 plus negative 3 or 3 negative chips. We have here cancel out the, the 0 pair. It leaves 1 chips which is positive and the answer is 1. Next, we have um, 5 positive, then 3 negative chips, okay? So, you will remove all of the uh, 0 pairs. This is 3, 3, it's 3 here. So, we add one, we add the remaining, we count the remaining 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, our answer is 4 positive chips or 4. And this one, we have 5 5 positive and 7 negative, so we remove the 0 pair. This is 5, 3, 4, 5, and uh, the remaining is 2 negative chips or negative 2 is the answer. So that's how you are going to add integers using a uh, colored chip. So if it is the same, all you have to do is to add the, the same um, chips. Or the same colored chips but if it's different you you cancel out all the zero pairs so zero pairs means one positive and one negative 